In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can create this auto sliding card effect in your WordPress website by using Elementor. Here each of these cards are automatically sliding on a time interval and when we hover over on these cards, it pauses and after moving out that cursor, it again continues to slide. Cool, right? So without further ado, let's see how can we achieve this cool effect. Okay, so before starting, I want to say that to achieve our this cool effect, we have to have the Elementor Pro. So if you didn't have Elementor Pro, you can quickly get this on my description link. Now here you can see we have created a two column layout section and on this right side, I want to create our this auto sliding effect. So I will start it from scratch. But if you want to achieve this effect without doing anything, you can also get this as a ready made template on my Gumroad shop. So we can get it with a small amount of fee from here. So after downloading, you can get a JSON file like this. So what we need to do, if you just go to a new page and here on this template option, go to this upload icon and you just need to drag this JSON file right into this place. Then here you can see a file like this, auto sliding cards. Let's just insert this and you can get this whole thing as a full template and from here you can also change these names these button links each and everything and if we see it from our tablet devices it's also responsive on here and also in our mobile awesome okay but if you don't want to get this template you can also start it from scratch so let's go back again to here and to start first of all we need an inner section so let's drag this to in this column and delete our the second column. So inside this, first of all, I want to take an image and let's upload an image from our gallery. And from the style, I want to reduce the width of this image, make it much smaller, 110, and also give the same height. And to prevent this distortion, we also need to make this object fit always to cover. And then here I want to go to this inner section settings and give it a width 470 pixel. And you can see this reduced width of this column. So from this column, I also want to make a white background color. Okay, now after this image, I also want to add some text. So we can use an image box widget. And I don't want this additional image. So let's delete this from here. I just want to write down my name and also my designation. Then let's also add a button. And here as I create a team member area, so I want to make this a follow button. And here you can give your social media link. Now let's start designing out these elements. So first for this image, I want to make its rounded corner from this radius option and also give some border to solid, make it to five pixel and also give the border color to white and also give some box shadow so if you look closely you can see a slight dark shadow here then here let's go to this text and i want to change its color here to black and also make it to black and for this title make its font size like 20 and for this one make it 18 pixel and reduce the spacing between them so make it to minus two pixel and also let's align this on this left side from here and lastly for this follow button let's change its background color make it to a gradient color and make this first color to this pink color change this gradient angle and also make some rounded corner so make 100 pixel border radius and also give some padding and lastly i want to change this font size so from this typography let's make this size to 19 and also make this width to 400 so after styling i want to arrange all of this item on left and right so we need to make all of this position to inline so make it to inline and also for this and for this button make it to in line so now we can see all of our items in a single line 
now i want to go back again to this column settings and here first of all i want to remove this padding so make it to zero and also add this rounded corner here so from this border option also make it to 100 but for these two corners i want to reduce this radius so make it to 20 on these two corners so now here i want to place all of our content to vertically middle so from this column settings we need to make this vertical alignment to the middle and as we want to place out this button on this right side we also need to make this horizontal align to the space between okay but when we make this the spaces between all of the items are evenly distributed but here i don't want to place our this item in the middle of this column like that so for this here i want to make position settings and i want to make its a absolute position and from the top and left i want to adjust its position and here on this right side i also need some spacing so from this column settings instead of this zero padding on this left side i want to make it to 28 now that looks perfect now to create the other cards we can simply just duplicate this inner section but before duplicating i want to make sure it looks good on our tablet and mobile devices because if we duplicate first and then we make it responsive then we again have to make the responsive changes for our duplicated cards so first of all let's go to this tablet mode and here you can see this text are overlapping with this button so we need to increase its width so i want to make the column width to 100 percent and also for this column okay now that looks good we don't have to do anything so let's also check this on mobile so on mobile it again overlap without this button so here instead of placing this button on this right side i want to place this right after this text here so for this first of all i want to reduce the font size for this text so from here make it to 17 and for this designation also make it to 14 pixel and let's also reduce the spacing between that minus 5 pixel and as i want to place this button to here so we need to go back to our this column settings and here from this layout option instead of making it to space between i want to make it to start and to place it at the bottom also make the vertical alignment to the bottom okay but for this text let's also move this a little bit top so from the positioning make it to 15 and here for this button i also want to reduce the font size so make it to 15 pixel and also we need to reduce the padding from here from the bottom and the left we also need some space so give some margin from here okay now that looks good and lastly i also want to reduce the width for this inner section so make it to 280 pixel now from our preview we can see it looks perfect for all of our devices so now we can make it duplicate so from here let's right click and duplicate couple more times and from here you can change this text and also this designation and to change this image let's click on here and upload an another image and by following this let's just quickly change all the content okay i have changed all of this and lastly to achieve our final effect we need to do a couple more things so first of all we need to go to this column and here we need to add a class sliding and here on this custom css we need to paste some code and here you don't need to worry about any of this code i will give all of this code snippet to my website and also give that code snippet link to my description so from here you just need to copy and paste that code in that place and here you can see our cards has been disappears so to make it active we also need to add some javascript code let's add this html widget inside our this column and paste this code to here and you can see this beautiful sliding effect has starting successfully and here when we hover over on this card it pauses to sliding and when you move our cursor out of this this again started to sliding that's a really cool option
So that's how you can create this cool auto sliding card effect on your Elementor website. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video.